Hello, this is Mrs. Smith. This tutorial will be over valence electrons in family groups. What is a valence electron? They are the electrons on the outside energy level, or the outermost ring, or the last shell. You may um, hear any of those terms. So this atom has one, two, three valence electrons, but now it has those three plus two more gives it five total electrons. So remember the difference between those. I can also find the number of valence electrons on the periodic table. I'm going to work backwards. Family group 18, I try to highlight just the eight to represent that they have eight valence electrons. Group 17 all has seven valence electrons. Group 16 all have six valence electrons, and I think you see the pattern. I'm going to skip these transition elements today. We'll get those later. Family group 2, two valence electrons, one, one valence electron. Okay, so since this has one, two, three valence electrons, that means it is in family group 13. It's one of these elements. Now, if I knew how many protons were in the nucleus, protons is the atomic number, I would be able to tell you exactly which element it is. Now, we haven't talked about this a lot yet. It has two rings. This number two tells us that it's in period two with two rings. So period two in group 13, it really is boron. Okay, but now let's add an electron. It has to go on that outer shell. So now it has four valence electrons. That now puts it in family group 14. Now what's so special about valence electrons? Let's look at our song. Valence electron tells us what family an element will be in on the periodic table. We know that families move down the column. Okay. Um, fam another name for family is group. So valence electron tell me what group it's in. One valence electron is going to be in family group one. Two valence electrons, family group two, and so forth. Next all the elements with the same number of valence electrons share similar properties. All the family groups on the periodic table have names. Family group one is named the alkali metal. They all share similar properties. They're very reactive. They're going to combine quickly with other elements. Family group 18 are the noble gases. They all share similar properties. They're not going to react with the other elements. And that brings us to that next line. They have like reactivity. So elements in the same family or group all have the same number of valence electrons on their outer rings. Okay. Now let's take a look at this model. Remember, the first ring can hold two valence electrons. The second ring can hold eight electrons, and the third ring can hold eight, and we'll stop there. This model right here is helium. I know it's helium because two protons tells me so. A, P, E. If protons is two, the atomic number is two, and since it's on the periodic table, a neutral atom, it will have two electrons. Now this model is a little different. I ha the rings are the spaces. So instead of them being hooked exactly to a ring, I put them on the space because different models represent it different ways. So I want you to see a variety. So since helium has two electrons on this ring, it's full. It's happy. It does not want to mess with any of the other elements. It's a part of the noble gas family. All of these elements have a full outer shell. 
That's why noble, they're like royalty. They're like kings and queens. They don't mess with the little elements on the other side of the periodic table. Eight electrons is full. So like neon and argon, they're going to have eight valence electrons and make them full. All of the other elements want to be like the noble gases. So they pretend. I'm going to show you. We're going to do a water molecule. Pretty much everyone knows that water is H2O. It has two hydrogens. Here is hydrogen. Here is the other hydrogen. And then this is oxygen. I know this is hydrogen because I see one proton. And the periodic table tells me one proton atomic number is hydrogen. This is oxygen because it has eight protons. Now let's look at hydrogen. How many valence electrons? It so happens to have one total electron and there's one on that outside ring, one valence. Oxygen is in family group one. Let's look at oxygen here. One, two, three, four, five, six valence electrons. What a family group, look at that, 16. It happens every time. Valence electrons, the family group number. So, first ring wants two. Hydrogen has one. It hooks on with oxygen. Now it's happy. Now it has two. The same thing with this hydrogen. Without hydrogen, remember oxygen had six. If it had eight, it would be full. So it's happy when this one makes seven tags on. This one makes eight tags on. Now it feels like a noble gas with its outside shell full. Every element wants to be like the noble gases and have a full outside ring with valence electrons. So hopefully this helps a little bit with valence electrons and family groups. Until next time, see you later.